How's it going, you guys? It's your local cringe lord coming at you hard with some fresh cringe. Appreciate you tuning in. We got a new channel on the channel. It's called My Nessie Life. That's what it's called. There's this chick. I think her name's Vanessa, I think. And uh, she has like some stories and shit that she tells. It's pretty entertaining. This one's about how to catch a cheater or how she caught a cheater, I believe. So there's that. It's not really cringe, but I just feel like watching it. Um, I feel like a lot of the stuff I post and will post about on the channel is not not entirely cringe and that's okay well what is that hurting some of the police should arrest me or something got a madman over here second order of business is yo so i've had an instagram and a twitter but i never really used either one i kind of started them for the page kind of forgot about them but uh yeah i figured that now was as good as time as any to inform people of the garbage that they're missing out on so so um so yeah there's that if you have a twitter or an instagram subscribe to your boy and um <laughs> i guess i'll get out like more garbage uh instagram posts and uh, twitter posts as i can and other than that without any further ado let's go ahead and dive in few things about my appearances. I changed my username. I am no longer Sexy Nessie. I am my Nessie life. I got a bunch of tattoos. Now officially a blonde. Do blondes really have more fun? You tell me. Moving on. I just want to know what goes through a guy's mind when he's sliding into Becky with the good hair's DMs. Does it ever cross your mind that your girlfriend is going to find out? One way or another. Like, it might not be right away. It might be a year from now. It might even be when you are already broken up. She's going to find out. If she finds out after you're broken up for some other reason, she never found out when you were together. Do I have that wrong? Like, I don't see the problem. I mean, be, uh, be a good person if you're in a relationship. But I'm just saying, what she just said doesn't really make sense. But go on. Women are genetically engineered to find out what their boyfriends are doing. We're just natural born FBI agents. And it's not because we stalk everything you do. Women's intuition is a real thing. For most girls, anyway. Seriously though, my boyfriend could just have a really painful gas and make a weird face. I will be up all night thinking of all of the reasons why he made that weird face. Only to end up with the conclusion that he's cheating on me with a Brazilian model that he met on a dating website and they're planning a June wedding. It's not easy being me. Getting off topic. So for the people who don't have issues like me, here are a few helpful ways to catch a cheater or get away with cheating. Whichever you prefer, you do you, boo. Number one, Venmo. I know, right? You wouldn't even think to catch someone cheating this way. But I was creative enough, and by creative, I mean obsessive compulsive, to catch my then boyfriend with this method. Most people forget or don't even know that their transactions are public. Everybody can see them, including who you sent it to and what you labeled it as. Personally, I think my boyfriend was an idiot for not making any of his transactions private. I mean, if you're gonna cheat, you need to think about these things. Be smart about it. This man child was sending a girl in another state money to buy pizza, shoes, clothes, and whatever this emoji is. Meanwhile, I couldn't even get him to take me to dinner or on a date. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> Yo, we had hoes in different area codes. <laughs> Not that she's a hoe, but I had to say that joke, man. There's so you know how rarely I get to use that ludicrous lyric as a goddamn punchline. Fucking never. I had to. Moving on, the notes in your iPhone. If you have an iPhone. 
Now, this one is insanely out there. I mean, I couldn't even get mad at a man if I caught him cheating on me this way. You can go into your notes and add somebody in your contacts so that only that person or persons, giggity, can see the notes. So you're free to send messages, to send nudes, to do whatever and delete them and nobody's gonna see it, nobody's gonna find out. It's basically like incognito Snapchat. It's actually pretty brilliant because if you were trying to catch your man cheating on you, you wouldn't even think to look at the notes first. You would be checking his text messages, his pictures, check the hidden folder, it's there, you're welcome. You'd be checking his WhatsApp, all of the recent apps he uses, but never his notes. If you actually have caught somebody cheating this way, please tell me in the comments. I really want to know if it's real and people do this and I'm not just crazy, it's not just my paranoia. These are just a couple of ways to catch a cheater or get away with cheating. Whichever you prefer, you do you, boo. Fortunately for you and everybody who watches my videos, I have had many experiences of being cheated on in many different ways. This is just scratching the surface, so stay tuned. Man, I don't, I've never cheated on anybody, but none of this shit makes any sense, man. If you're even halfway with it, all right? If you're even halfway with it, you can, you can sidestep everything she just said. Everything. You know how? You get a goddamn, if you're a dedicated cheater, like that's what you do, and you're seasoned, Dude, get a fucking dedicated burner phone, bro. Get a completely separate phone. Say it's for work. <laughs> Say it's for work. Say it's for work and uh, give it like a, give it like a, uh, you know, give it a passcode and all the other security measures. <laughs> Never relinquish this information to anyone. <laughs> That's all of fucking... It's full of fucking hoes. <laughs> it's full of hoes. It's full of hoes that you're cheating on her with. But you tell her it's the work phone and that she's not allowed to touch ever. Because it's very delicate information that's up on there, bro. <laughs> oh my god, who the fuck did I just inform of this shit? Now they're going to go out and cheat on their fucking girlfriend. Oh no. <laughs> Don't do it, bro. Forget what you just heard. Forget what you just heard. Forget what you just heard, man. I was just lying about that. There's an obvious, uh, don't do it, dude. <laughs> don't do it. Cut her loose, man. Just dump her. Just dump her. You don't need to be with her if you're trying to cheat on her, bro. Oh, my God. What have I done? Oh, well. <laughs> That's the circle of life. Oh, God. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, if you don't have a separate phone and you're trying to cheat, then that's kind of, you're kind of asking for it in my opinion. But if uh, you're anyway even halfway with it and you're like dedicated about like being unfaithful to the person you uh, agree to be in a relationship with, then fucking get a goddamn burner and then just never let her see it and then label <laughs> label her and their label her as a contact in your phone as like Joe <laughs> I don't know label her like some I don't know some professional ass name <laughs> just like a list of professional fucking names <laughs> and they're actually all hoes that uh, you have and uh, <laughs> fucked up also I guess don't use Venmo or if you do, make another account and uh, kind of circumvent this whole situation. But. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this chick got cheated on, bro. Jesus Christ. Fucking goddamn. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments. I really want to know what kind of videos that you guys would like to see. Also, check out my Twitch channel. I stream there every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, sometimes more during the week. I do some uh, different things on that platform. Burn the donuts! Let me get my food frosted! Come and check it out. I will link it in the description below. That's it for me for now, you guys. 
Talk to you later. This one was definitely a shorter video, but at the same time, like, oh well. That's enough of my garbage. Appreciate you coming through. If you happen to like the video, be sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe if you like this type of content. I try to post three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and catch you guys on the next one.